Welcome to today's video. My name is Kyan, and this is my 2013 Mazda Miata. Let's go ahead and take a look at the styling of the car. Miata is honestly the sharpest roadster on the market. I stand by that. Like even compared to the Mercedes SL, which is something that's way more expensive than the Miata, and basically the same car, I would choose the Miata. Even the NC, it looks super modern. It's just a timeless design. Um, you see you have those crazy rear haunches and you know, it's just got a, the proportions on this car are just perfect Mazda really nailed it here And all that aside, how can you be upset with the Miata? I mean look at that face. It's the happiest car on the planet Look at it. It's always smiling and guess what you're always smiling too because it's such a joy to drive Let's go ahead and dive in into the interior of the car As you sit down, you're greeted by a very basic and straightforward instrument cluster, which I love. You know, you have your fuel, your speedometer, your tachometer, uh, oil pressure, and water temperature. That's all you need, okay? And then you even have a little trip computer, very straightforward, very basic. Uh, my car is a 2013, so a little bit very late in the uh, NC model. Um, so I do have a few like modern creature comforts, but really not many. It's a very basic car, and quite honestly, that's the appeal of the car. You know, it's all about the driving experience, and there's no frills and thrills. It's just a pure driver's car. So looking at the steering wheel, you know, you have uh, volume control buttons. You can change the radio station. Uh, you know, you have your horn, and over here you have the cruise control. A beautiful three-spoke steering wheel. Uh, very classic design by Mazda. I really do enjoy that. Um, you know, it's simplicity is just beauty, you know? So over here, you have a very basic radio. Um, in 2022, it is super dated. However, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, for 20 bucks, you buy a uh, Bluetooth adapter, plug it into the cigarette lighter, and hey, you know, it's just as good as any other car on the market that's made today. Uh, you know, very basic. It does have a CD player. I personally don't own any CDs, but it's nice that there is one. Then over here, you know, you have your air vents, your glove compartment, which is pretty spacious for a car this size. Um, that's one thing I will say about the Miata is there is a decent amount of storage. My car, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at that. Five speed, okay. If you don't have a manual Miata, you're not living. One of the things that I want to do while I'm in here is go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to uh, drop the top. So uh, the first thing you want to do is roll down the windows. Uh, don't want to throw those off track. You know, it's very simple. Press the release button. And it pops back. You know, drop the top. And then you want to make sure it's secure. Go ahead, press that down. And voila. Uh, as you can see, like with the top down, the car looks even better. Uh, not a lot of cars look good with the top up. Uh, cough, cough, Porsche Boxster. But the Miata, the Miata is such a good looking car. You know, it's beautiful top up or top down.
Okay, so here we are. It's time to go for a drive. Uh, I apologize in advance for the audio quality.
place in my heart because as a kid, um, on PlayStation 2, I had a game called Corvette, and the whole point of the game was like unlocking and racing Corvettes. So all the way from the C1 up until that point, it was the C5. That was like the most recent Corvette in the game. So you could drive every Corvette in between. And so that's really where my like, I wouldn't say I'm like the most passionate Corvette person ever because I'm not. Like obviously you can go deep in the weeds on Corvettes and I just you know very surface level things. However, that's kind of it was nostalgic. That's why I love the C5 because you know I had a chance to own the car that I used to drive in a video game. Like that's so I wish I would have bought that Corvette, but, you know, it just wasn't in the cards. So I was like, dang, okay, I'm not getting a Corvette, so what am I going to get? And, you know, I'm racking my brain, I'm racking my brain, and it comes a time where, okay, so, backtrack, backtrack, so this is in November. So, at this point, I, had, I was, you know, convinced that I was going to buy this Corvette, so I, on a Friday, I came up to Cleveland to come by the
it handled with all that stuff. I'm like, I need this car. So that's how I ended up with the Miata. Um, and from that point on, like, it was just a matter of me practicing with this, not even practicing, like, I had to drive this car. That's my car, so I had to drive it. That's how I learned to stick. I just forced myself, you know, watching videos. Just, like, practice, hardcore practice. Man. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a pleasure making it. Uh, please do like and subscribe. You know, it's very encouraging. Um, it helps, it encourages me to continue making content for you all. Um, I'll see you in the next one, and don't be late.